Hello again, Danny H here. I'm just going to test out the PS1 console that I picked up for £10 and see if it works. Just put uh, Formula 197 in here, good old Murray Walker. And I was right that time. If it works. Yep, it does work indeed. Brilliant. So, that's another console I've picked up that works absolutely fine. Brilliant. And, but I'm, I'm going to work on the eject button in a little while, because obviously it's not it's not closing consistently. So, but, but other than that, it does seem to work absolutely fine. I'm just going to have a little blast on Formula 1, 97, and um, then I'll have a little... Right, now we're going to repair the PS1, because obviously the eject button's a bit stem it a bit to close it so we're going to do that now right well i'll show you what we need to do on the back of the console you'll see some screws there's also one hidden under i think it's that's um tab there um but the rest of them you can all see there we go it can be a bit awkward Run through, unfortunately, you have to really put some effort into them. Sometimes these screws can be a bit of a pain to get out, unfortunately. Um, mind you saying that, this console hasn't been open since about since it was made, which is probably about 1999 2000, so it's um. They aren't easy to get out, unfortunately. Um, we we'll also get it. Um, put this one down here. Screws are a bit hard to get out at first because they don't like to. Because I've, like I say, they've been um, they've been stuck in the console for like twenty years, so <laughs> it's kind of they. So obviously they haven't been taken out before, so that's probably why they're a little bit on the reluctant side. <laughs> Ain't easy. It's so much easier when you have both your hands when you're not filming it. <laughs> it is a real nightmare to do this. One handed and then with one foot keeping it in. Anyway, the last the last screw is under this this um, this void tab this tab here. So we head it off, might as well it's not gonna be any good anyway. It's not that you're going to be out of warranty at 20 years old, is it? <laughs> Probably Tony will replace it somehow, but... Okay, pull this screw out. It amazes me that these consoles can last 20 years, yet some consoles go wrong after a couple of years, like the older Xbox 360 um, Xenon models. Um, with Red Ring of Death and that. Now, this top bit will come straight off like that. So we're going to put that to the side. I don't need to touch that because it works fine. Um, so we're going to what we're going to do. We're going to move the eject buttons out like like that. Hang on. do is you have to pull these two tabs here and then push out and then it will come out with a lot of effort no, with great with um, like that there you go anyway, let's do the same on this side again I'm going to stop the camera and just okay now this one is a little bit harder and um, it'll still come out it's just a bit, a bit it's just been a bit awkward <laughs> 
as most old consoles are from this age. Um, put a lot of grime and dirt in there, so we'll give it a good clean. Oh, look. Oh, not too bad actually, to be fair. Um, but I will give it a clean anyway, because obviously, you know, you do get some grime in them. That's what you need, an alcohol cleaner. Um, put that on top, put that on a cotton wool bud like this one here. Let's see if we can get that in there. Yeah, that's going in lovely. Yeah, just give that a good clean, and I'll give the button a good clean as well. It does feel quite therapeutic doing this actually. <laughs> Cleaning things up. Not the way you're thinking, but yeah. Put it on the side. And then just do the same for the buttons on the tab. Together, make sure that the buttons are in the correct alignment. So that one can go in like that. If it pushes in, it gets pushed in usually. <laughs> um, and that goes that way round. Yeah, he's being a bit naughty. Come on, there you go. There's a good view. And then you just got to put that one in. Hang on, I need to. Sometimes these can be a bit. Of a paint in that looks there we are got it that's got it yeah I think that looks okay to me so we'll test it out and then we'll put the casing back on so I'm just gonna push that down make sure that's all right make sure that goes on and off make sure that eject yeah that seems that seems much better now um so anyway we're gonna put the screws back in where they were before which is the reverse of hitting it earlier do now is screw put the screws back in where they need to go. So that goes down. Yeah. Yeah, seems a bit forceful, and unfortunately. Yeah. Basically, I'm just going to do all the screws up and show you. Yeah. Right, as you can see, all the screws are back in, um, and the console works way better than it did the other way around. And you have to slam it a bit, but it's working a lot better than you have to slam it a little bit, but yeah, it's working way better than what it was. So yeah, anyway, that's a nice little fix. Um, so if you have any button problems with the reset button or the on-off button and the eject button, just give them a good clean with some alcohol gel. That normally. Get some working a lot better and I'll see you around.